Welcome on back in. So a recent study from Safe Kids Worldwide, Chevrolet and Ohio State University found that four out of five parents moved their child out of a booster seat before the child was big enough. So now they hope to really help keep kids out of harm's way. So joining us here this morning is Morag Mackay, Chief Research and Network Officer for Safe Kids Worldwide. So I want to kind of break down the report here. What was it to you that really stood out? So there was some good news in there, but the bigger one was the one that you just shared. So the good news was that we, we had done a similar survey about 10 years ago, and we found that parents are doing a better job for the most part um, in terms of getting kids into booster seats um, and keeping them in booster seats. Um, but they're doing the the they're moving them from the booster seat to the adult seat belt um, too early, and that was the one that we really want to focus in on now. I think sometimes parents don't quite understand the purpose of the booster seat, and therefore they're not sure why it's needed. Right, and that makes sense. And this is just out of my curiosity here. Does it depend on you know when you want to take that booster seat away? Is it dependent more on the child's weight, their height? their age, what are the factors there? Yeah, parents often think about age. It, it's a particularly a transition that starts to happen when kids start school. They say, okay, well, I think they're big enough now. Maybe they don't need to be in the car seat. It really is about height more than anything with a booster seat because the adult seat belt is designed for the average sized adult. And most kids don't reach that minimum height, um, which is actually four feet, nine inches. Um, and again, it varies when they reach it, but usually it's at least sort of 10, um, 10 to eight to 10, maybe say they might start to reach it. But so it's that first question is, does, is my child four feet nine? If they reach that four feet nine point, then we have a three-step um, seatbelt test that we ask parents to check um, to make sure that their child does in fact properly fit that adult seat. Um, and if they answer to any of the questions in that test is no, then we say, okay, well then you really do need to be in a booster seat. Yeah, would you mind actually sharing those? Like, do you have those questions on you that you'd be able to yeah. share with us? Okay. Absolutely. So the first thing you want to do is sit the child in that adult seat like they were going to just be riding with a normal seat belt with their back of their their back and their butts right against the back of the seat. And the first thing you do is you check their knees and their feet. Are their knees able to fold naturally over the edge of the seat? Are their feet able to touch the ground? If the answer to either of those questions is no, then the reality is, is that once they're buckled in, they're probably gonna slouch down in order to allow their knees to bend and their feet to touch the, the, the floor of the car because it's just more comfortable. But when they do that slouching, what happens is the lap belt, part of the seat belt rides up over their abdomen rather than sitting across their hips. And then in the event of a crash, that's all soft tissue and around your tummy, they can have a really serious injury. So the first thing is, can my knees bend and my feet touch the ground? If the answer to that is yes, you move on and you look at where the seat belt is sitting. You look at the lap belt portion, is it sitting across their hips? If it's not sitting up across their hips, they are too small. So um, you again would say, okay, we need a booster seat. And the last thing to check is the shoulder belt. It should be sitting um, on their shoulder between the edge of the shoulder and their neck. If it's digging into their neck at all or encroaching on their neck at all, again, they're too small and they need a booster seat. Um, and the booster seat, it's really in the name. What it does is it boosts the child up so that the adult seat belt correctly fits them from a shoulder belt and lap belt perspective. It lifts their legs a little bit so their knees can bend. Um, their feet won't touch the ground, but their knees can naturally um, relax. And it just makes them more comfortable and definitely makes them safer. Marag, thank you so much. Some good stuff there. We appreciate you taking the time here with us this morning. My pleasure. All righty.